All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So I posted a picture today on Instagram. And uh, I took it with basically my brother-in-law, who's a beast He in the gym. He's a monster. I, I mean, he's. I think at times he's 360 pounds. He's a monster. He's strong. He's big. And I called it, you know, if you want to be a beast in the gym, work out with one. He took a picture of me and him. I'm kind of standing behind him. And, uh, you know, we both look, I mean, obviously we both work out. There's no question about that, but he's really big. And, you know, I've done hundreds of videos on talking about this subject as far as fitness and different ways on how to go about hitting the gym and getting in shape. Uh, Just a heads up, if you're not into working out or the gym, this podcast probably isn't for you. (laughs) But I try to like pre-warn people. Uh, But... You know, I've talked a lot about, uh, you know, different things you can do inside the gym to learn a lot, uh, maybe work out with different people. It doesn't mean you have to hire a trainer. It doesn't mean you have to become a, you know, work out with professional bodybuilders all the time. It doesn't mean you have to be extreme. Uh, but I do talk about having to have intensity when working out in the gym because if you want results, you're going to have to become a little more intense than probably you are. If you're really intense, God bless, but it's what you bring to the table. It's not how long you work out or how many days. It's having knowledge that, that you know, the knowledge that works specifically for you. You know what type of workouts that work. Uh, studying a lot, watching videos, reading, figuring out your body again, uh, the foods you eat, you know, trying to get the best out of everything you're doing. And in this case, the reason I mention that in with working out with a beast. What I mean by that is, you know, a lot of times I think when people are in a gym and I see tons of them, now they're in groups. They could be with their buddies, men and women, groups, or they're solo a lot of times. Let's call it for what it is. So you usually see two guys, sometimes three, but that gets a little long, if you know what I mean, with working out. Or you have someone by themselves kind of, you know, going through the motions. And a lot of times, especially with beginners, I see them alone and they're lost. And a lot of them are doing things incorrectly. And some things they're doing correctly. Uh, some look like they're just trying to figure things out. And this goes for all different ages. And I kind of feel bad for them to a certain degree because a lot of them can't afford a trainer. And I'm not, they don't even necessarily need one. Uh, but a lot of times too, nowadays, you know, a lot of us have our headphones in where for years in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, when I used to work out a lot of times, we didn't have headphones in all the time, maybe Walkmans, but it wasn't as common. And everybody would just kind of conversate one another. You always can ask somebody for a spot and it became like a family inside the gym, especially if you worked out at the same time a lot of times. So a lot of guys after dinner and women or would work out then. So from like five to closing 10 o'clock, a lot of times the gym was very busy. And then you had your early birds, but in the old days, truthfully, during the afternoons from like, I want to say like 11 to 4, it's pretty slow. Still kind of now it is as well. But um, like I said, if you're by yourself kind of walking around, and here's the thing, what I would recommend, and I really never did a video on this, so I thought I'd do a podcast, is you know, if you want to get big and strong, ask somebody in the gym, even if you could shadow them, especially if you have like somebody in there, you just talk to them once in a while. That doesn't mean they're your workout partner. That doesn't mean you need to work out with them because a lot of guys are just too advanced or too fast uh, with doing certain things. They don't want to be bothered. A lot of times they're putting on weight. It's going to be a lot heavier than you can handle. Uh, They're just going to be in their rhythm. And sometimes they may even have a workout partner. But again, you don't want to interfere with their workout. But what you want to do sometimes is learn from them. And again, you can just watch them. You should like sometimes say, hey, next time you're doing chest, if you want to do chest or legs or back, can I just watch you do your workout? Instead of like, I get it. You can't do that in a gym sometimes, like watch somebody too much because it becomes a little creepy. But if you got friends, and I used to go through this all the time, all the time, I'd have people, Rich, can I have, can you show me your leg workout? Or do you mind if I, you know, do a leg workout? I'd be like, sure, come on in. Uh, I'm going to be here at this day or whatever. But I usually always had a workout partner when I was younger from probably... Oh man, high school all the way for the most part. I mean, I worked out alone a lot too, but a lot of times I had workout partners up until like my 30s. And then I just went really solo. I just didn't have the patience anymore to wait for people. And then I didn't want to, you know, you know, some people, you know, you work out with them, they miss body parts or they don't, you know, they don't do certain things. It becomes a fiasco and I just did not have the patience anymore. And a lot of times now when people want to work out with me, I usually say, Hey, let's do your workout. And they're like, no, Rich, I want to do your workouts. But, uh, 
a lot of times I'm like, no, show me what you're doing. And then I'll kind of at least give you my advice, what I think you're doing right or wrong. Again, I may be wrong, but at least I kind of go through and show them because I, like I tell them, you're not going to do my workout most likely. You're going to always remember your workout or you're going to be doing things the way you want to do them. And that's usually what's going to stick in their head. Now, if they wanted to truly do my workouts, they'd probably have to spend like a month with me at least or a couple months because everything I do is different. Every workout is different. Every time I approach, it's different. The intensity is there, but I never do the same thing twice or I try not to with the exception of warming up. So I'm very confusing. I'm not very good to learn from because I've been doing this almost my entire life. So I have to switch things up constantly to keep the interest there. But back to you, again, if you want to be a beast in the damn gym, work out with a beast. Again, that doesn't mean you have to be their full-time workout partner, right? Because this is what happens with me is my, uh, I guess you could call my brother-in-law. He comes to town once in a while and he's like, meet me at the gym. And I run over there. And I do his workout and he's a beast. And I learn, I still learn from, there's a lot of stuff I used to do and remember, but now I'm like, oh my God, I forgot most of them. But the way he does things, he does maybe more sets than I do. He does more reps than I do. He actually may start off with lighter weight than I usually start off with, but then he may go a little heavier here. But I get trashed when working out with him because it's something totally different. But even working out with somebody big once in a while. Just once, I mean, this may happen once a month or every six months. It just kind of sparks something, but I'm also learning something. Even though, you know, a lot of times I think when we do something for a long period of time within the world of fitness, I guess you could say, or exercising, you kind of think like, oh, I know it all. I'm here to tell you, most likely you do not know it all. There's so many things you can learn. I don't care if you're a trainer, professional athlete, or if you're just a novice. There's always something to learn inside of a gym, different equipment, uh, of using it a different way, different styles, different grips, all these different types of things. And don't get me wrong, sometimes I think, okay, I'm a master of of bodybuilding, hypothetically, and I'm not. I'm not a pro bodybuilder. But I've been lifting weights my entire life. The truth is I'm a master of nothing. I'm just, you know, going through the motions and still every day learning something uh, at the gym because I'm open-minded and I really watch other people and what they're doing. And... Like a lot of things in life, fitness, it evolves, it changes, equipment changes, workout routines change and all these different types of things. But yeah, if you, like I said, if you want to become a goddamn beast, also, you probably have a certain, right now, like you have a certain type of genetic, uh, you know, uh, body or I don't know how I'm trying to say this. You have a certain style body. Let's just say you have your own genetics. Maybe too, if you're looking to look like somebody you know, that looks really good, ask, ask them again to shadow them or ask if you can work out with them once in a while, especially if they don't have a partner and accommodate them. They're not going to accommodate you, but if you're like, Hey, you know, can I ever work out with you? And they're cool and you're friends with them. And they're like, yeah, sure. I'll be here tomorrow, Monday at whatever doing this. Go do it. Go do it. Spot them. They'll spot you. You'll probably have conversations, but if you find somebody that kind of looks the way you want to look, and you have, you're pretty close genetic wise, then it's going to help a lot. Because I think a lot of times too, I see guys, they want to look a certain way, but they have, there's nothing in, it's like I'm almost 5'10 now. And if I worked out with a guy who was 6'5 or 5'2, I'm not saying I can't learn things from them, right? But most likely we have totally different types of genetics. Our body is going to probably react differently to every exercise. Now, I'm not saying even if you find somebody that has the same genetics as you do, that you're going to get the same results. But I do think sometimes when you do find somebody who's kind of close uh, or it's or somebody that you look like you can evolve into that you want to, give it a shot. It's definitely worth it. Uh, but regardless, work out with the goddamn beast. I can assure you it's only going to give you more knowledge. And a lot of times it's going to also, I think, push you a lot of times. When you work out with people that are stronger than you and more intense than you, you're going to either get exposed for half-assing it. You may even get exposed for being weak. Uh, It it just exposed a lot of things. You you can get exposed for doing things uh, incorrectly. You can also kind of understand that There's a rhythm too to weightlifting or things in the gym. And a lot of men don't know this, or women I should say, because either they may take, you know, they may not warm up properly. They may not, uh, you know, they may take too much time in between sets. They may uh, take not enough time. They may not get control of their breathing. Again, they may not be doing the lifts correctly. 
All these things come into play and you will get exposed. And if you get around somebody who's a beast that knows what they're talking about, you're going to learn a lot hands on. And I will wrap it up with this. Uh, watch a lot of videos. I talk about it all the time. But when you're watching videos, and I, I never did a podcast on this, but you got to be very knowledgeable and pay attention to everything they're doing because I think a lot of people watch videos and they go in the gym and they think they're going to emulate that. And then when they're doing it, they're, it's nothing like what they watch, but in their mind, they think it's exactly the same. Now, yeah, sure, flat bench or if you're squatting. Well, not even squatting could even be tricky the way. I'll just use squatting for an example. You may watch somebody squat correctly and you're like, okay, I see how to do that. Then I see somebody squatting. You know, the way they're coming down is incorrectly. Their feet positions, uh, they may come too low. They may not come down deep enough. Um, they may be using too much back. Uh, the way they're holding the bar behind their neck. Uh, all these different types of things. But in their head, they're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm mint. I, I'm doing this perfectly correct, but they're not. So if you are going to watch video, I would recommend watching videos, but also maybe do that at the gym. Like watch somebody, do it, and then like do it that way. Not watch a video the day before and then be like, oh yeah, I got a squat. I remember how he did this. No, look at it and emulate it if it's what you want to do and it's done properly, okay? I'm going to wrap it up there. If you got any questions or comments, hit me up, um, richtalenza.com. I help a lot of guys with fitness, but I take a different approach on it. I'm not a trainer that's going to, a guy who's going to get in there and start getting involved with all that. But if you do want to know a lot about working out and my different type of workout routines, you can go to my YouTube channel. Uh, just put Rich Chalenza. Put anything you want in there. I even have swimming in there. I have all these different things. And I also talk, I have hundreds of videos talking about different things regarding different style workouts. And uh, yeah, it's a totally different approach than maybe what you've ever heard before. It's also about taking your time. It's about finding what specifically works best for you, not getting caught up with what everybody else is doing all the time. And I know I talked about right in this video, kind of emulating others, but no matter what, that's just to learn. You need to find the workout that works for you, okay? That's the number one thing, not always doing what everybody else is doing and what everybody else told you. So that's an approach I kind of take in my Mastering Self-Confidence program with fitness. All right, take care, and I wish you nothing but the best.